Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Crypto Analyst here, and I hope all of you guys are having a good morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. And welcome back to another cryptocurrency video. Now, today we're going to be doing a technical analysis on Stellar Lumens XLM, determining whether I believe it is bullish or bearish and where I believe it's going to go from here. Now, there's been a lot of FOMO and FUD happening with news that it's going to get added to Coinbase. So we're going to kind of be ignoring that and just focusing sheerly on the technical analysis. So if you guys are interested, go and stick around for the video and do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it does about the channel a lot. So let's go ahead and dive right on into this. First things first, guys, we have our overbearing resistance line over here, signifying that this is where our resistance is gonna like quite literally stand at. So we have this first one dating all the way back to July 24th. We have our second swing high all the way back in September 24th. And now we have our third swing high over here in November 7th. Now with this being you know used several times now, we're able to significantly say that and safely say that this is a significant resistance line for Stella Lumens. This is going to be something that has to break eventually if it ever wants to become bullish because now what you're seeing is lower swing highs on your candle body chart on your one day, which is pretty significant. But in other good news, what you also have over here is a support line. Now, the support line has been in effect since uh, September 10th of this year. And then, of course, we've seen multiple touch points all the way up. The most recent one being in November 1st of this month. Now, this thing's been moving pretty fast. Again, there's been so much news about it getting added to Coinbase or whether or not it's going to happen. You know, even I've covered a little bit of information on that myself. But ignoring that, um, or you can't really ignore that too much because it does affect the price action. I mean, it is driving uh, you know both sellers and buyers into this market, into this coin, and, and it's affecting its price for sure. But what it is looking at right now, if you look at this from a surely a TA perspective, you're seeing a bearish pennant forming on here because what this does is you have yourself coming down, consolidating into a pennant, and then usually this breaks down again. So. If you're looking straight from a TA's perspective, this is a bearish pennant. It is a 40 60. It's a 40% chance to break towards the upside, a 60% chance to break towards the downside. And that's what this bearish pennant looks like to me. And so um, right now, it's a little bit of a gamble because yes, it is a bearish pennant. Pennants are pretty neutral. I mean, again, it's a 40 60. It's still pretty neutral. It's not like it's a, a rising wedge where it's just going to break. It has a 90% chance of just breaking downwards. Um, this is a pennant. So at the end of the day, it is relatively neutral. It's sitting around 25, 26 cents. Um, and it's, you know, it's tested this resistance, resistance, excuse me. Uh, and you have other things like your MACD and your RSI showing that this could just be short term bearish divergence and what this could actually actually you know very well do over here is come back down touch your resistance on XLM around or your support excuse me around 23 cents 22 cents and then uh, you know actually have a breakout and you know that's something that it could be very possible of course you could even come down here and you know find support on your 24 23 cent 50 day EMA as well now if we're looking at this a lot of people knew that this uh, that this was coming for you know for Stellar Lumens because what you had over here is you had ex oh that's, I'm sorry that's the wrong one over here you had double bullish divergence on your daily MACD which again is pretty significant and if you caught this fast enough you were definitely able to ride it your oscillator is showing that you are getting a higher um, a higher high than previously before over here I can go ahead and highlight this so we can check this out you know higher low however this looks like it's starting to hook up top and it's starting to go a little bit bearish with that being said though it's not a horrible thing that this is happening it's gonna have a little bit of correction it went on a nice run now let it correct this up a little bit before it wants to pump some more so you know really this chart isn't looking too bad I mean same thing over here with your RSI again looking a little bit short-term bearish uh, as you are seeing lower highs on your daily RSI as well, signifying that, hey, you could co probably come down here, have a little bit of a breakdown, and then find some support and then keep on going upwards. You know, that's really just what the name of the game is over here. And it's gonna be patience because yes, this is getting manipulated or it, with the whole Coinbase thing, um, but I don't think that's too major as of right now. You know, I'm not doing it to the BTC, I'm doing XLM to the USD um, via Bitfinex, but uh, you know, you could do this either way. And we'll go into the XLM to the BTC over here in one second. So XLM to BTC. And this doesn't look too much different, but the, you know it definitely has uh, 
I say it doesn't look too much different. It looks pretty different, if we're being honest. But it looks a lot more clean and reliable on the USD than it does on the BTC. Because, you know, BTC's kind of been a mess lately. But your RSI and your MACD are pretty much showing the same thing. You're having a very similar support line. And then you're also showing that you're getting bearish divergence on your MACD. Showing just a little bit of bullish exhaustion. Um, and saying that you're needing to fall back down a little bit to regain some strength. RSI showing the, little, the same thing. You know, you're getting lower highs, lower levels of positive momentum momentum um, and that you really just need to come down here and retest some lower levels so you can get a little bit more momentum before you go any higher from here so uh, with that being said, that's going to pretty much bring this video to an end. Again, I'm sitting a little bit more bearish than I am bullish on XLM just for the short term. Again, short term, I think it's going to come back down. I think you're going to get a little bit of bearish action. And then I think you're going to, you could have a massive bull rally on XLM. Um, so right now it's looking pretty good. You know, short term, again, not so good. Long term, it's looking really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it does about the channel a lot. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.